Hi guys, I'm Rich Lissaman and welcome to my new YouTube channel. Um, I was originally going to launch this about three or four weeks ago. Unfortunately, the country went into lockdown. Um, I've decided to, to launch anyway um, and hopefully I can uh, show you some decent footage um, and still stick to the government guidelines. So, here we go. This is Turning Back the Clock. So guys, the basic idea of this channel is to try and track my weight loss, uh, which is a whopping 16 stone 7 pounds, which is the heaviest I've actually ever been. Um, I'm going to try and track that um, and get down to a, a fairly decent weight. I haven't really got a target for that weight as such, uh, but it's, it's to try and get into a, a more healthier position, uh, a, bit, a, bit of, a bit of a better lifestyle for me. Um, Currently, I'm experiencing quite a lot of pain in my knees, um, and I've, I've kind of pinned that down to my weight. Um, I used to be very, very active. I used to do mountain biking. I used to do a lot of running. Um, and, and these are all kind of things that I'm going to try and include in the show um, and, and kind, of, kind of try and turn the clock back, so to speak, uh, to try and get myself into a position where I can do all of the sports that I used to do, things like um, a, lot, a lot of hill walking, I've... I've um, I used to do um, surfing um, so as, as the show goes on uh, the more episodes are put out you'll start to see some of these uh, some of these activities um, and hopefully you'll enjoy the show okay guys um, right first things first um, so what I've done in order to try and take uh, a bit more control over my diet um, and try and create a, a bit more of a healthier eating pattern for myself is I've downloaded the Under Armour My Fitness Pal app on my phone, um, which is a really, really good app. It allows you to log all the foods you eat throughout the day. Um, it makes a nice, simple calculation at the top um, and, and basically tells you whether or not you're, you're over your calorie goal. Um, it also allows you to offset any exercise that you do on the app. Um, so that um, it, it, it can calculate whether or not you are, you are burning calories as well, which is a really, really handy tool. Um, I've been using it for about a week, a week and a half, um, and I'm finding that it's, it's making a, a lot of difference. It's given me a lot more energy um, because I'm making healthier choices. Um, I mean, for example, uh, when I first started using it, um, I went... Um, to, a, to a friend's house and we had some Domino's pizza and after putting the pizza um, into the app and realising that I'd consumed in about 10 minutes almost 2,000 calories um, pizza is fully off the menu so that's you know that's helping me um, make healthier choices um, so I'm going to run you through uh, the last sort of week week and a half um, from my diet you can see how I've done um, and I'll speak to you after So guys, that was my progress through the week. A um, couple of little wobbles there, a couple of unhealthy choices, uh, but you know I am just starting out, so hopefully it will get better as the videos go on. Um, obviously, the idea of this show is to try and get back into the physical condition where I can do the sports and activities that I love. Um, and we're going to start with mountain biking. Now, I used to ride uh, probably two to three times a week. Um, and I used to ride probably 7 to 14 miles at a time, depending on what trail centre we were visiting. Uh, I used to ride at trail centres all over the UK, um, and it was really, really good. Uh, the UK is uh, quite, quite good for, for mountain bike trails, and it's quite a big sport. Um, so the first one we visited was Sherwood Pines, which was about four days ago. Um, it was a really, really wet day, and, uh, and here's how it went.
So we're at Sherwood Pines today. Um, we've come here because of the weather. It's a little bit better where we are now. Uh, we were going to go to the Forest of Dean, uh, where there's some uh, some some bit of a faster trails, uh, a lot more jumps, things like that. Uh, unfortunately, looking at the weather report this morning, um, it was a bit too windy. It looked like it was going to be a bit too wet to go and, and really enjoy that trail. Uh, we've come up to Sherwood Pines, uh, which was probably about an hour and a half drive away. Uh, so we've come here and uh, we're going to go uh, around, the, around the Red Route. Um, it's quite a quick, um, fairly, fairly basic route. Um, it's not too technical, so a little bit of fun. It is quite wet, um, but it's not raining at the minute. Uh, it's not too windy. Uh, we hopefully head over to where it's got a little bit of a downhill section here and a little bit of a jump park. So hopefully we'll, we'll have a bit of a, a mess around on that and uh, see how we go. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have a good day.
So that was Sherwood Pines. Um, yeah, we actually had a really, really good day mountain biking, actually. Uh, despite it being so wet and miserable, um, it was actually fantastic to get back out on the bike. Um, really, really pleased. Um, by my calculations, I probably burnt off somewhere in the region of about a thousand calories. So also quite, quite pleased with that. Um, and I, I, I feel I'm making good progress. Um, that's about all we've got time for today. Um, if you have enjoyed today's video and um, and you do want to see more, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, click the thumbs up at the bottom of the video um, and also turn on your notifications so you don't miss our next video. Thanks for watching.